so like but I guess yes the journey was certainly quite like a rigorous and demanding program it's like a two-year program and like just having to juggle around with 11 subjects making sure you're dedicating like suitable amounts of time to each subject while also trying to maintain some sort of work-life balance I think it was quite a demanding and sort of like exhausting period and even like just during the exams the way they structure the exams, we had to take like 23 papers, I think, over the course of like 30 to 40 days. So just trying to maintain that sort of like concentration and that sort of like optimal performance over the one and a half months the exam took place over. And that was quite tiring, yeah. But yeah, like needless to say, the papers were fairly stressful. But I think like just stepping into the exam room, I felt relatively confident. I felt like I had prepared well like dedicated sufficient time and effort into the exam so and yeah I think taking one of the papers back in sec 3 definitely helped because it helped to simulate the sort of exam environment I knew how the exams are going to feel like stepping into the exam room so yeah I think taking the Chinese exam back in sec 3 was very helpful I think it's really important to just make your own notes because at first I felt quite overwhelmed with all the resources we had. Like we had our teacher's PowerPoint slides, we had textbooks, we had online notes. We maybe had, some of us had like notes from seniors as well. So it was quite, I think it was really helpful to just look at how different people or different textbooks, different resources explained the same concept and sort of taking inspiration from which sort of explanation you found the most helpful. So I think like the process of note taking was very helpful for me to sort of consolidate my knowledge. And secondly, I think it would be referring to the syllabus because IGCSC has a very good benefit in that it provides very detailed syllabuses. And I think finally, it's definitely doing past papers, it's doing past papers, identifying patterns and what sort of questions they like to ask, what sort of words or answers they're looking for in the mark schemes, and yeah, just looking for patterns in the sort of questions and answers they're looking for. Actually, I think computer science for me was quite fun because it is a subject that is very deeply rooted in logical thinking, especially when we're programming our own, like, like coding our own programs, for example. So yeah, computer science was very fun and also for me, I think world literature was quite fun as well. Stepping into the IBCSEs, I think it really changed my perception of literature. I realized that literature is also very rooted in logical thinking. You sort of take a text, you, you sort of synthesize the ideas, you look for what the writer is really trying to portray in that text, and you look for evidence to really convince uh, your readers that like, this is what the writer is trying to achieve. So, so right now I'm planning to study law at either a UK university, I'm currently aiming for the University of Cambridge and also or a Hong Kong university such as like University of Hong Kong for example. Yeah and why because I really want to sort of like study or learn from the best of the best and why law specifically. Once again, I think it's that sort of sense of logical thinking and like critical thinking. I think law really has that because you need to like take legal principles no matter like which side you're, you have to argue for. You still need to like take legal principles and formulate like convincing arguments. And once again, there are no like right or wrong answers. You can argue both sides. And I think that's what I really like. And like, I'm also currently like joined, uh, I also currently participate in like Model United Nations. So that also helps with my like debate or speaking skills. So yeah, I think that's really helpful as well. Yeah, so most likely it'll be like pursuing a profession in law. And I, what I really, really like about the legal field is that you can really explore such a wide variety of fields during your legal practice because each case you take on, it might be for a different company. Like, like for, for this case, you might be looking at a programming or a tech company. The next case you take on, it might be for a bank. And the next case you take on, it might be maybe even like a criminal law case. So that's what I really like about the legal profession. It 
allows you to sort of just get to know how the world works because you're constantly exposed to all these different fields in your legal practice. So I think that's something I really like and that's why I aspire to be a lawyer. Yeah.